Hello, a warm welcome to Finland Nokia headquarters. My name is Päivi Kalske and I have here with me today Ari Kynäslahti. Hi Päivi. Hello, welcome. Thank you. Uh, Ari heads product management at Nokia Mobile Networks. Uh, he's responsible for uh, product roadmaps and portfolio competitiveness. His career spans over 20 years at Nokia. Uh, he's been leading R&D and business development uh, positions and he's also in the band. Mm. But what we are today here to talk about, I mean, with your experience from 2G to 5G, uh, Ari, can you say what, what is the, uh, the speed of development uh, that you're experiencing? Right, so we roughly get the new G, new generation, the mobile technology every 10 years. And now with the 5G, it has been uh, super fast. So mm -hmm. we are, at the same time, we are finalizing the 3GPP standard. Mm -hmm. and launching the first networks, so very hectic. Right. And what has Nokia's role been in, in that? Uh, Nokia, is, yeah, Nokia is a big part of the 3GPP, driving the standards together with the 3GPP community. So we are making the 5G together with the 3GPP community. Mm -hmm. If you look back a little bit uh, and think of the first 5G deployment announcements and, and first 5G agreements which were uh, announced last year, uh, what has been your experience and, and impact uh, since then? Right, so we have uh, yeah, approaching 100 uh, commercial engagement uh, on 5G and uh, we are active with all the leading 5G markets from uh, Korea, uh, USA, parts of Europe, Australia, uh, really working uh, closely mm -hmm. with the leading markets and uh, getting ready to launch 5G coming days. Excellent, a, a fantastic momentum and we actually had some good news to tell about this yesterday, it was very <laughs> exciting. Yes, yes, so yesterday we announced uh, the 30th uh, Nokia 5G uh, commercial agreement, uh, so we are now having uh, 30 uh -huh. 5G customers and um, that, uh, that number you really need to check on a weekly basis, we are getting uh, new contracts on average every week. Excellent. And, and what is one of the, some of the selection criteria for these commercial agreements? Why, what are the basis of, of the decisions? Right, right. So you need to have, of course, the product uh, in shape. You need to cover all the different frequency bands. You need to cover different architecture options. And then you need to be ready with the product uh, uh, during the IODT tests with the devices. And then, um, of course, uh, Nokia being the only vendor with uh, global end-to-end uh, -end offering. Uh, we have a good thing going. Excellent. So it's, it's a good place to be, proud to be at Nokia. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Ari. A an excellent summary. Thank you, Pai. And uh, if you'd like to hear more about the uh, Nokia-wide 5G portfolio, which is based on the FutureX architecture, then tap into nokia.com slash 5G. You can read our latest blogs at nokia.com slash blog. And of course, follow the 5G in action updates in social media. Thank you for joining today. See you soon. Thank you.